fine. So here we are in the last stitch. So I'm making the last half uh, double crochet here on the front loop. And I will make, now it is my last color change. Okay. All right. So we are done here with this color yarn. You can cut this off. And this is the effect that we are searching for. That's very nice. Now you'll chain one. This chain one does not count as one stitch, all right? So here I will show you uh, where we're gonna work. You see that we just work in the front loop of the stitch to make this to be lifting off, right? So you have a remaining back loop uh, of the stitch that you work on the previous row, right? This is the back loop. So here is where you're going to work with in this back, uh, in this remaining loop of the stitch. All right, so here you will work single crochet, just single crochet. So you will work here on the back loop. I'll show you. Yes, here you will grab the back loop and you will make single crochet on it. I hope you can see it nice. Let me just focus here a little bit. Okay, this is better. So, all right, so now you can see it better, okay? Here, you work on the back loop of the stitch that is remaining, making a straight line there. And it's easy to find because the color is different, so I don't think you'll have a problem to find this one. So you'll make 54 single crochet in this back loop, and I will catch you up at the end. Okay, so here we have the shape. This is looking very nice. Great. You see here, you can see that you were working in the loops of that round. All right, so here count that you have the 54 single crochet. This chain here it doesn't count as one stitch. You're going to complete ignore that one, all right? Now you will work 52 single crochet and I will show you why it's going to be 52. So here, let's start. This is the first um, single crochet. And I will catch you up at the end when I finish this 52 single crochet, all right? It will be, let me just mark here, I forgot to add my stitch marker here at uh, the end of the round, so I will know when to stop, okay? You can cut these or crochet this together, the remaining of the lines. All right, so here we have, uh, I stopped here uh, one stitch before, actually. I stop it here uh, three stitches before complete 54. So I need to crochet one more here to have last two stitches. Okay, so here you see you have two more stitches for you to finish the round. And the reason why is that we will start crocheting together the parts of the turtle. All right, so I'll just take my stitch marker off. And remember here that you have two stitches left, all right? So you have four stitches from the tail. So you will crochet the remaining two stitches of the round together with the tail here. So you will make these two stitches from the previous round crocheting together with the tail. See here? One stitch from the tail, one from the body. All right, so we finished this round and now we're starting the next round. All right, so here you pay attention to just make sure that you're counting the stitches correct. All right. So here, where is the stitches? Good. Make sure that you are taking one stitch from the body, one stitch from the tail. That's it, done. And now you will crochet five single crochet here normally and we will stop so we will start crocheting the poles all right before we move forward i will just add my stitch marker remember it's this one because we have two stitches from the tail that it's remaining from the back uh, uh round and this is what it should be looking like very so cute okay so i made two stitches here so i need to make three more so you'll make five single crochet here without crocheting together anything Oh, 
All right. And now we will put the back paws. The back paws are the one that is uh, bigger a little bit. Okay, so this is the front one. So this is the back one. Okay. Let's take this one. And we want the paws to be facing like this. So this round shape here is facing to the back. So I will start here. Count one, two, three. Third stitch from the paw is the one that I will start crocheting together with it. Okay. So let me take here one, two, three. Third stitch. And one stitch here from the body. And you crochet together. Simple, right? So one stitch from the paw, one stitch from the body. And one more. So you have three stitches here that you grab. All right? Ta-da! It's hanging here. Now you will crochet five single crochet more. All right, and now we will crochet together the front paw. So this is looking nice here. The front paw is the one that is a little bit small. So again, we want this round part here to be facing down, facing back. So we'll count three stitches here once again, and we'll crochet together. So one, two, and three. All right. That's super good. Now, see you have the two paws and now you will crochet six single crochet here until we meet up to crochet together the head. Oops. Okay. So make the six single crochet here. And now the head. Okay, so we want the head to be attached here, all right? So you need to crochet these stitches. What's gonna happen is you will crochet six single crochet from the head in this round, and it will remain six single crochet more. Remember, you have 12 stitches from the head, right? So here you grab one stitch from the head and one stitch from the body. And you crochet together six stitches from the head and six from the body, okay? So one here, two, so this is the next stitch. Pay attention here for you to grab the exact stitch from the body and from the head so you are not skipping any stitch. And always count, you should have 54 stitches at the end of the round, okay? If you don't have 54, it's because you eat up some stitch, or if you have more stitches, I don't know. Okay. So here, and my stitch number six. Let me make sure. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. And the last one here. All right, so here we have, now we crochet again, six single crochet here to make the same distance from the pole from the other side. Okay, so you see here, you have six single crochet uh, here from the body and you have six single crochet here remaining from the head. All right, remember this because we will crochet from the next round around this head. But I will, sh I will show you that later. All right, you see? <laughs> so cute. Okay, now let's crochet together the front ball, right? Yes, front ball. So we want the front ball to be facing like this side. All right, so this time you will start crocheting from the edge. Again, three single crochet. Connecting together. And now you know how it's done here because you've done it from the back part.
from the other side, I mean. So three here, and you will crochet, you see, nice, five single crochet here until the next ball. And again, you will attach the back leg, back ball, back, how you call this part of the turtle. Very nice English I have. Okay, so here you will crochet three uh, stitches more from the leg, <laughs> back leg. Okay, so three, and you should have here uh, five remaining stitches here, counting, of course, the two stitches from the beginning. Okay, so we are done. So now for the next round, I will catch you up there in the head. Okay, so I'll crochet all the way up to there and I will catch you up. All right, so here I am in the round 16. What's going to happen here is you will ignore these yellow stitches. The six yellow stitches here you will completely ignore and you will crochet around the head. Okay, so this is the important part. So now you count here six stitches, six single crochet. So here we have one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. That's it, and now you continue working your round normally, all right? At the end, you should have 54 stitches. Don't forget here, count how many stitches you have because you're not increasing or decreasing anything so far. We will from the next round. Great, look at this. Ta-da, no sewing. Everything is now in its place and it's looking very nice. Yay! Great! Now we'll start with the decreases. The fun is... <laughs> we'll finish with the fun part. Now we'll start for round 17. You will crochet 7 single crochet, 1 decrease, repeat 6 times and you should have a total of 48 stitches. Okay? Here, basic basics. Like, go work around your 7 single crochet and then you start working with your invisible decrease. Alright? Remember, there is links in the description of this video with complete tutorial of the stitches that uh, if you need any help. And also, if you have questions, leave them in the comment box below. All right, so moving on now for round 18, you should make six single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you will have 42 stitches at the end of this round. I'm moving a little bit faster here because nothing new, right? The hard part is done. But for me, it's fun. Oh, it rhymes. <laughs> okay. Here my invisible decrease. You finish your round and catch me up for the next one. Uh, good. So here I am adding my stitch marker. And for round number 19, you will make five single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this round. Great, here my decrease, and move on, I will catch you up at the end. Great, uh, my yarn finished, <laughs> my light color yarn finished, so I have to change here for the next round. And you don't have to do that, I just do that because I want to finish this uh, tutorial today, and I don't want to go and buy another yarn, but here, uh, you know, I will show you. This other one, you see, I make with the same color and it's look, it looks even nice, I think, when you just use one color. So here I just want to finish. Anyways, for this round, you'll make four single crochet, one decrease, and repeat that six times. All right? So no changing color here necessary. It's, it was an emergency. <laughs> Okay, 
So you finish here, I will catch you up. Nice. Now we are almost done with the turtle. Okay, moving on for the next round. And here you will work three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you will have 24 stitches at the end of this round. All right, very nice. This is looking very cute, turtle. Ta -da! And now you move on for the next round. You will work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you will have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, now we'll stop here a little bit to add stuffing material. Here you organize a little bit your turtle. Add as much stuffing material you want. I like my toys to be firm, so I'll add a good amount here. And let's move on for our last round. We are almost done. Okay, so here you'll work one single crochet, one decrease, Repeat six times and you should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this round. All right, and I will catch you up here for fastening off this little turtle. Okay, this is looking very nice. Now you cut this yarn here, add in your sewing needle. Here, what I'm going to do is I take my sewing needle and I insert the yarn only in the front loop of the stitches, okay? So here I'll grab just the front loop of the stitch. There is a full tutorial dedicated on how I close my toys, but pretty much this is it. You can see it here. And uh, once you grab all the front loops, you just pull it tight. Ta-da! That's it. Very nice, it's closed. And now I do the same thing as I do at the beginning of all my crochet toys. I make a kind of a contour around the first stitches here just to make sure that this it will be very nice, closed and tight and more similar to the beginning of the toy. That's it! Look at this! Very nice! Hello, turtle! If you're using safety eyes, you're probably done. There is the exact location that I saw the eyes in the written pattern, check that out. But if you are like me and you like to crochet or embroider your eyes, this is how I do it. So you'll start with the magic ring and you'll make six single crochet inside this magic ring. All right, close this tight. And here you will join with a slip stitch. But when you're joining with a slip stitch, you will change the color. So here I'm using my orange or dark yellow. I don't know which color is this, but yeah, this one. Nice, and now you will work six back loop slip stitch. Here it's very easy for the slip stitch um, like get very tight tension so just make sure that you're crocheting some loose slip stitch here so it's not going to squeeze the eye. All right. Great, so this 
is it. Now I will just cut this yarn. I will make some simple knots here just to make sure that it's uh, secure and safe. And cut this yarn. We are going to sew it so it's not going to be seen the knot. And here I will just pull this um, tail inside this slip stitch here. All right, and you make another one following the same instruction. Ta-da! All right, so here I use pins to fasten the eyes while I'm sewing it. The exact position, you do you, the exact position that I used to sew these eyes, it's in the written pattern. You check that out. Here I'm just going with my filling and checking what it looks symmetrical to me. And I just want to show you how I sew it. This is lip stitch to have this nice effect. So here I grab one stitch from the head. And now you bring the yarn up inside the slip stitch. Just make sure here for you to take just the slip stitch. This one is where the one I connected the yarn. So it's a bit more hard to take. But just make sure that you are taking just the slip stitch, okay? This is very important so it doesn't look messy. And you bring it down again on the slip stitch next to it. All right. And now you grab one stitch of the head. So this is the repetitions that you will make here. All right. You grab one stitch, one slip stitch here going up and the slip stitch next to this stitch going down all right that's it and then you take one stitch from the head and this is how you will sew all the six stitches from this eye. You go up in the slip stitch and you go down on the slip stitch next to it. So you have this nice contour with a different color around the eyes. All right, I will finish this and I will uh, sew the other one and I will come back here with you. Great, so this, you see, Ah, it's already looking very nice, but I want to give some life, some nice touch at the end. So here I take a white color yarn. I secure the beginning with a simple knot. And I will insert here in between, in the connection of the black and the other color on the edge here. And then on the top right corner here, you will make two lines with this white color. Nice. And now you bring the yarn to the left bottom side and you make a uh, small contour here on almost in taking the half of the eyes and then I will bring here to the next one okay that's it look how it's changed already how oh, she's more sympathic I will do this other one and hide this tail Ta-da! this is the finish look at this I'm so happy she's very cute this little turtle I really hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you like this pattern, if it was useful for you, leave me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, that helps a lot. And I see you in the next time. Bye.